Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, Raila Molodinga announced that officially, Azmiola Umoja is going to have mass action on every Monday and every Thursday. And so today, through their, the, the chairman of Azmio Executive Council, the former Kakamega governor weekly from Beda of Paranya, Azmio has now officially issued a notice to police officers to notify them that they are going to have mass action on Monday countrywide in every county we will have mass action. So that means across the country. And again, in that notice, they are just confirming that this notice is to serve that they, they will have that uh, mass action continuously in every Monday and Thursday. And surprising, police officers were trying to play smart. Such like that, when they heard that mass action is continuous, Wametoa zile notification forms, the Nyanafawa fill, that do notify police. So there is no official form to fill as a notification to police, to serve the police officers. But beside this, as the mayor decided just to write, uh, that notification paper on their own and submit it and confirming that they don't got to get any of those forms. After that, before I read this one, William Ruto responded to Azmiola Umoja, of course in a sarcastic way, but again Mtai Nguni also is giving a warning to William Samai Ruto as far as the issue of mass action is concerned. So this is what Azmio has shared eh? attention, notification of countrywide, nationalwide procession and petition. We are unable to submit any prescribed form as none is available in any of their station. Can you please avail us a copy from your office? But this serves as an our official notice. We are unable to Sorry, this is to notify you that we will be holding procession in all 47 counties in the Republic of Kenya this Monday, 27th, March 2023, and Thursday, 30th, March 2023, and every subsequent Monday and Thursday thereafter. We intend to submit petition to county commission, county sub-county com commanders sorry we intend to submit petition to county commanders sub-county commanders and all other state office countrywide as part of the procession for the avoidance of doubt this is not application for permission as none is required under article 37 <laughs> This is a notification to enable the police provide adequate security to the demonstrators. By this notice, kindly provide adequate security. But again, they are also giving to police officers, those who will not be in the uniform, and this is what they are saying here. Further to this, we put police on notice that we will allow only uniformed police to bear arms. Plain cloth in arm will be dealt with as thugs and hired goons and committed to civilian arrest as allowed per the law. His Excellency Dr. Wycliffe Ombeta Oparanya, EGH Chairman Azimio Executive Council. That is from Ombeta Oparanya writing. So, this is to confirm that what Raila Monodinga and the Azimio leaders were saying in their presser it is going to happen. Expect mass action on Friday, on Monday, and then every Thursday going forward. After that, William Ruto was in Nairobi Stock Exchange, and this is what he said. Eh? I am looking forward to the day in the very near future when we will be reporting every Monday and every Thursday to be the day that were traded highest in the NSE. According to William Ruto, is looking on a Monday or a Thursday, which will be the best day that people are selling. 
That means a busy day. Why is he quoting Monday and Thursday? Because those are the days that Raila has announced to be a days for protesting. So he's pretending to be clever, responding to Raila Mono Dinga. And they still talk about impunity. I don't know what impunity. If there is someone who is handling cases with impunity, then it is one William Samuel Ruto. A man who does not know that we have poor people in this country who cannot afford a meal. A man who don't know that we have even orphans, total orphans who can't even afford a meal. Kuna wale orphans when they are better off because their parents made something. But kuna wale when you maskini kabisa, they have nowhere to go. They have any, they don't have anyone can, to, to help them. Hajui hayo. Kuna mama wajana tu kuhinja wenye hawana msaada ingine na nje ingine. Ruto does not know this. So Mtaingunye is responding to William Samuel Ruto. And this is what he's telling Ruto. Dear Ruto, the economy lost 1 billion shillings every hour during the tear gas Mondays. Thank God he's saying tear gas Monday because actually it is tear gas that dis disrupted the business, not even those who are demonstrating. This forced Uhuru to listen to Raila. Your hardline position and Kakasungura wit cannot end well. Mpesa bishops will not tell you this. That is Mtai Nguni warning William Samai Ruto on his stand on eh, the issue of mass action. You know, Ruto has a behavior of using, you know, twisting, trying to use some, 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 some words and ideas in a, a quick and a inventive way in respond to anything other politicians are talking about. That's why you see, he's saying that he's looking on a Monday and a Thursday that will be the most traded day. A man who is always quick to respond. And a man who is always quick to respond. That, you know, kakasungura, um, what I mean, wind. You know, a quick thinker, you just want to be a quick thinker and a quick, you, you think quickly and respond quickly. But I will tell you, such people will always make accident. And we said earlier, before election, it was during campaign, that William Ruto is one man who will always act on emotion. Quick reaction and it is on emotion. It end up causing problem. It backfires. That's why Mutai Nguni is telling him, those Mpesa bishops, actually they will run away once the country will be on fire. What I can be, there will be nowhere to even pray for Ruto or do the drama they have been doing here. There will be nowhere. For now, they have state house. Every time they walk in, how on your first VVVIP? So his kind of quick respond with the humor that goes with it. You know, cook, you know, populist respond to look nice, to whip emotional people. By the way, in as much as having that populist respond and the humor is no longer selling because people are hungry, they need food. But then we have Kenyans who have responded to Mutai Nguni. I just I read that I, I just read two reaction. Eh? Muhenga Marufu. This is what he's telling in reaction to Mutai Nguni. Leaders who do not listen have no way of showing their people that they can they care. Leaders who don't listen will never earn the commitment of their people. Leaders who don't listen have have to rely on eh, compliance instead of commitment. Let him learn this. That's the truth of the matter. Another one also, which is very important. Yakasule Kolwa. Maybe ego and chest stamping will tell him this. Mimi Mandamano Netakua Monday na Thursday until government fulfill its promise. William Ruto is busy fulfilling his promises to cronies. Yet the yet he forget hustlers. Hapa kuta work. 
And yes, we have seen his cronies. Wamepata CSS, CS, prime CS or what. He is rewarding them all. But you forget we have Kenyans who are suffering. So this is a direct message. In as much Ruto will pretend like nothing serious is happening in this country. He says this but he is busy crying to the, to the, to, to, to the di diplomats and UN. To the Purman Raila Molo Dinka. So his kind of quick response and pretending to be smart in dealing with Raila Molo Dinka, it might not work. The issue is he's losing two billion. And uh, let me tell you, Raila has a reason to increase from one week to two from, from one time a week to two times. Say like that if Gashago was crying for a one day, two billion loss. Then he will be crying for 4 billion loss. So in a week it's twice. To push them to corner in a quick way. Then at the end of the day they will see a reason in what Raila Molo is talking about. What is Raila Molo saying? Cost of living, irudichin. Number two, serve as the funguliwe. Number three, Constituting of the new IBC must be stopped and start afresh. Engage all players in this game. If not, her to end Mali. Those three. For me, I found a reason why Ruto should listen to the three. Yes, as a Siju and apply which knowledge. Out of three, he has done nothing. Ange kwa kona akili na acha hii mamba ya usungura hii, ukaka sungura hii, enyega mtai unye talking about. At least he could have started with the food. Aweka subsidy na asaidia watu. From there, then the other things comes in. Because he wants to prove that he don't listen to anyone. He's going to make a lot of injury and accidents. At the end of the day, even people will find a reason to remove him from that office. Before I leko, andika imamba yake ya barua ke andika andika.